Are you planning on going on holiday? Are you so excited because you couldn't go anywhere for over a year? But what if you can't take your dog with you? Does it make you less excited and even sad or anxious? I know that your dog would rather be with you, but it's not always possible. The reality is that there are times when you have to leave your dog behind, holiday or no holiday. If there is um, no other option, you have to leave your dog behind, you have to make the right choice for him or her, and you have to plan well ahead. I would suggest to plan this before you actually book your holiday. In this video, I'm sharing few options that may suit you. Hi, I'm Jitka, happy dog mom to five mischievous terriers. I've always been passionate about dogs and being in the pet industry for over 30 years, including winning international dog grooming competitions, representing England and being placed at the World Team Championship and winning Dog Grooming Salon of the Year Award. The knowledge I gained over the years plus my diplomas in canine massage and clinical aromatherapy have uh, led me to be the proud founder of Vitacanis, aromatherapy products for dogs and their owners. If your kids are old enough or your parents young enough to take care of your dog, then that's a bonus. Your dog knows them and they can carry on with the same daily routine. Plus, you usually don't have to pay them. Bingo! <laughs> However, you have to make sure um, they know a few things like the vet's number, they know your dog's daily routine, how much exercise he requires, if he needs any medications, what he eats and how much. But they also um, have to know about summer dangers or winter dangers depends on the time of the year they um, have to know what foods are dangerous for dogs and other things Boating your dog at kennels is a good choice if your dog is friendly like sasha <laughs> and sociable dogs can, <laughs> dogs can adapt staying at the kennel really well and quickly, especially if they are introduced to this environment from early age. When I expect a new dog um, that's never been before at the kennels, I always recommend bringing him for a short period, like a day or overnight, easing them into it for a day or a weekend before leaving them for a more extended period <laughs> makes a big difference. So how to find a suitable kennel? Ask uh, other dog owners, ask your groomer, ask your vet for any recommendations. Sometimes your breeder may even have facilities for boarding dogs. Once you've got <laughs> list together, call them and ask questions. Example of some questions are, how many dogs are there per assistant? <laughs> how often will your dog be exercised and for how long? Will he get individual attention, like Sasha? Uh, will your um, feeding instructions be followed? Can you leave your dog's <laughs> toys, blankets, etc.? And the best way to check is to make an appointment and visit the kennels. Once you've made your choice, book your dog's stay well in advance of your holiday or work trip. Uh, kennels usually fill up during holidays and peak vacation periods. But everything is different at the moment and it's always good to think and plan ahead if you can, even if your plans change last minute. Another option is to arrange a dog sitter. If you choose this option, you will have to decide whether you prefer that your dog stays at home or stays in the sitter's home. You know your dog the best, so you know where he will be the most comfortable. The advantages of keeping your dog at home with a dog sitter are that he will remain in familiar surroundings and the dog sitter can also bring in post, water your plants and watch over your home. If you are looking for a dog sitter, ask for references beforehand. It would be best if you were sure that the person is reliable because you are leaving them with your dog in your house and you have to be able to trust them. 
it's also a good idea for the dog sitter to come and take, um, spend some time with you and your dog before you go away. Thanks for watching and I hope you're going to enjoy your holiday with or without your dog.